Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today we're looking at a really uh, great notebook from the brand Baron Fig uh, from the United States. Uh, it is their Confidant uh, notebook uh, and this is in the plus uh, size model. So as you can see it's beautifully packaged in a really lovely um, hard cardboard cover which gives you a bit of information uh, about the book and um, protects it in shipping and is great for archive as well. If we pop the top off here you can see there is the notebook itself. Um, it's a really lovely cloth binding um, and a really lovely solid build quality. A few basic sort of specs. This is as I said the plus model uh, which means it's the slightly larger uh, version of the book. This is roughly uh, B5 size and if you see it here in comparison to an A5 Rhodia um, Webby you can see it is considerably uh, larger which m means you've got just a little bit of extra room uh, on the page for uh, being creative or note taking or whatever your desire is. So as I said, beautiful cloth binding. This is the charcoal, and it's a lovely sort of dark grey. It also comes in a in a lighter grey uh, finish, uh, and it comes with a nice bookmarker ribbon, which is a really lovely quality. Not that sort of satiny sort of material, but sort of more um, cloth and really sturdy. The binding is really solid. Um, it's protected with lovely rounded corners uh, and a slight sort of overhang, as you can see. Uh, on the cover to the page uh, and it's just as I said really well thought out and really well made the company prides themselves on uh, having done the research and, and um, listening to what customers want in their books uh, and um, and yeah it just really it does such a lovely they've done such a lovely job of creating a book that is practical and also a pleasure to use if we open it up, we see that there's um, a lovely cardstock sort of cover, space to sort of put your name or whatever information you want to include in there. Um, same as uh, in the back, another lovely sort of cardstock with Baron Fig, and then 208 pages, designed in New York City, made in Taiwan, Confident, uh, Confident Plus, uh, baronfig.com, written there. Um, the book is designed to lay flat, and for the most part, it does. Um, there are a few spots where the binding doesn't allow the book to completely stay open on its own without sort of cracking the spine in. Um, that's sort of to be expected with most notebooks, but for the most part, yes, opening up to sort of random pages, you can get it to sit primarily pretty flat. The quality of the paper is really high. It's designed to last, um, and I th really think uh, it will. In the back of the book, um, there are a number of perforated pages um, for easy removal. Just we, I know how hard, horrible it is to have to tear pages out of your your book when you need to give someone notes or an address or whatever. So those perforated pages do make for a really lovely addition. One lovely thing I like about Baron Fig is that they have this buy a book, plant a tree scheme where for every book they sell they will plant a tree, hoping to leave the planet better than they found it. And that's really nice. I love brands with sort of a, a social conscience and who are active in the community uh, looking for ways to solve problems. So a couple of basic things. This book comes in three different um, marked versions. So you can either get um, blank, ruled or dot. As you can see, I got the dot. It, there are also a number of other uh, books using and products using um, this paper. Personal favourites of mine include the Mastermind desk pad. Uh, it also comes in a Vanguard book, which is similar to the Confidant, except it's soft cover. That comes in uh, five colours. Uh, there's a, like a, a blue and a yellow as well as the greys, and I think there's a, a burgundy sort of red. Um, and they're slightly cheaper. They are soft cover. Uh, in terms of pricing, the Confidant here, the, the B5 size is $22. The flagship, which is the A5, is $18 and the pocket size which is roughly a six uh, is $12. As for the Vanguard, the soft cover, you can get in packs of three, you get the um, 
the plus size for $15 the A5 for $12 and the Pocket for $9. So they're really reasonably priced products. Let's now check out a little bit about uh, how the paper actually performs. After all, that is why one of the things we need to look at when we get a notebook. So as you can see, I've done a number sort of, of tests on this paper. I've tested um, a lot of different inks, a lot of different pens, nibs, and a few sort of different options to find how things actually work on the paper huge number of fountain pens. Fountain pens are generally a little bit more brutal on paper uh, than regular pens, so I've really run the gamut here. First little thing I did was a dry time. I, Noodler's X Feather is a sort of slightly slow drying ink, and that took between 20, 20 and 30 seconds, uh, and Lamy Black, uh, as a, for a regular ink, took around the 20 second, a little over 20 second mark. So the paper is pretty good. It's not as waxy smooth as, say, Rodia or Clairefontaine, but it's nice and smooth but with just enough tooth and uh, to make you really know that you're writing which i per personally really like the paper is mildly absorbent as well in comparison to uh, the clairefontaine paper it doesn't have that coating so inks do tend to seep in a little bit and uh, it does reduce some things like some of the sheen and shading uh, capability of this paper so as you can see i ran everything from ackerman Shocking Blue, through to Dye Minings, Robert Oster, Mont Blanc, a range of different nibs, 1.1, uh, Goulet 1.5 with Noodler's 54th uh, ink in it, which is one of those inks that just destroys paper. Uh, and also uh, a number of sheening inks, so Blackstone Blue Cypress here, which unfortunately we don't get a lot of sheen from, and that normally does sheen on just about anything. Um, and then over the page, you can see Noodler's Base Day Blue, uh, Aurora Black, which is a nice wet ink. Um, there's more X Feather, some more Robert Osters. I tried a flex pen here with Robert Oster Blue Water Ice. Um, and then a number of other pen options, so a ballpoint pen, rollerball, fine liner, um, a couple of fine liners there, different brands, an ultra fine marker, permanent marker from Sharpie, a brush pen, a couple of highlighters, a black wing, 602, uh, and also, just for the fun of it, um, I tried a UV pen. And as you can see, that works rather nicely. I also tried to get some sheen uh, from Blackstone Ink uh, Barrier Reef Blue. Uh, I tried a watercolour paint and then as some people would use this for bullet journaling and they love to use um, markers and things in the books, that's a, a Crayola texture. So as you can see, it doesn't sheen very highly. Once again, this is an ink that will sheen on anything. The best sheen properties I got here was from Organic Studio uh, Walden Pond Blue, um, but once again, that will sheen on copy paper. So yeah, we get some lovely uh, sheen there. Now in terms of how the paper be behaves in terms of feathering, there is none. It works really well. Um, nothing feathered on this paper. Bleed? Well, all those fountain pens on the first page and what bleed do we get? Nothing, not even Noodler's 54th, which is pretty impressive. On this page, we do get a couple of little uh, bleeding issues, one to be completely, well, both to be completely expected, one performs better than uh, expected. So the first is Noodler's Base State Blue, and then of course, the Sharpie Ultra Fine Marker. And if you look over the page, the Sharpie comes through, and there's a couple of spots from Base State Blue, but not a lot else. Here in my sort of longer form written test, which was done with um, Ackerman Shocking uh, Blue, number five, um, there is some pops of sheen on this, which is really nice. This ink does sheen quite nicely. It's similar to Diamine Majestic Blue, very similar in fact, uh, and it does sheen nicely. Uh, but I would have expected a little bit more from uh, some of the Blackstone and Oster inks, uh, personally. In terms of water resistance, uh, just to see how absorbent the paper was with the ink. The ink does go in, but it is easily sort of removed into a nice sort of blue wash uh, there at the bottom. So, I really liked writing on this paper. It's smooth, but not um, too smooth, so that you can make sure you get a little bit of purchase of the pen on the paper. It dries quickly, it performs really well. All inks seem to respond nicely to the paper. So, I'm just going to do a quick a really quick writing um, sample in the book now for you. Uh, and the ink I've chosen is um, Robert Oster School Blue uh, in a nice broad um, Lamy uh, All Star here. This is of course 
the Pacific. Okay, as you can see, and as you could hear, it's a there is a bit of tooth on the paper. You do get a nice, pleasant amount of feedback. Um, it's not outrageous. This is a, a pretty smooth nib. It's a wet nib, and as we can see from a sort of a wetness thing, um, it's a little absorbent, but not too absorbent to stop the pen from uh, being able to write. And you know, I'm a lefty, and that's important to me. So, yeah, lovely, lovely paper. This is really in my Goldilocks zone um, for smoothness of paper and pen. It just performs absolutely beautifully. So let's do a quick summary here. What do I love? Okay, I love the build quality. I think it is an absolutely beautifully made book. All the details are thought through. Uh, it's got a 208 pages, so there's plenty of space. It's a good size. Um, I really like the colour. I love the ribbon. I love the fact that it's an accented colour against uh, the grey with that beautiful bright yellow. Um, I love the quality of the paper. Um, I really didn't want to love this book. <laughs> um, I'd, I read so many great things about it and knew it would be good, but I really didn't want to love it because unfortunately for me, the postage out to Australia is a little bit pricey. Um, but I purchased this one uh, to test it out and for a project I've got coming up and I just love it. So unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to get some more. I'm going to look at getting some of the Vanguard books as well. I think that'd be really handy. They're a really good size, good number of pages. Uh, and if it's the same paper quality, which Brown Fig have told me that it's the same paper across all their products, apart from the, the sticky notes, which they make. So what's not to love? That was the Baron Fig Confidant Plus, the B5 hardcover notebook from the American brand Baron Fig. I hope you found that video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. Please send me a message. Uh, you can do that either here on YouTube or on Twitter, Instagram or on my blog which are linked down below. I'd love to hear from you if you've got products or information or questions you'd like to pass on or really anything. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy writing and I'll talk to you later.